Hello everybody, welcome back to another Mid-Journey version 5 tutorial. Today we're talking permutations. And in particular, this is a new feature released by Mid-Journey that allows you to run multiple versions or variations of a single prompt. It is awesome. And it uses its own little markup language where it in, if you put something within curly braces, these braces right here, I've got some prompt examples ready to go to show you. It does it awesomely. And I want to start off with the aspect ratio version here. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to just take this prompt here. I've already got it here. And I'm going to go forward slash imagine. Then I'm going to tell you what's going on here. I've got French bulldogs running in a race because they're cute and potato like. Kinetic photography style. So we're getting a cool style. And then you're going to see dash dash AR, which means aspect ratio. And then inside the curly braces or the brackets, you're going to see the permutations. I'm basically asking mid journey to run this prompt four times using run the prompt once, but in four variations using these different aspect ratios. When I hit enter, watch what happens. It's going to say, are you sure you want to imagine four prompts from the template? So again, one prompt, four different styles, it's gonna pop out. I'm gonna click yes, and it's gonna go ahead now and put it into the queue. So that is the first example. I'm gonna let that run. I'm now gonna copy and paste in this second one to show you another example of how you can use permutations to just make your prompting journey even that much better. Forward slash imagine as we do, command V. So I'm gonna copy that in, same prompt, French Bulldogs running in kinetic photography style. But now look at this. I've got brace or bracket natural, artificial, dramatic, foggy, brace, lighting. Basically I'm saying run this prompt and I wanna see what it looks like with natural lighting, artificial lighting, dramatic lighting, and foggy lighting. I'm gonna hit enter and it's gonna run it. Again, it's going to ask me if I want to run this four times. Cause again, if you're using your fast hours, I'll be honest with you, it uses it up pretty quickly here. But if we look back up top here at the first one I ran, look at this. It's running it in 16.9. It's running it in the aspect ratio 16.9, aspect ratio 3.2. And then this one here is aspect ratio 9.16, which is nice for Instagram and all that crap. And, and the other one is still waiting to go. Where's this one? Oh, and here's 3.2. And then, yeah, 2.3 is still waiting to start. So that is another example of how this works. Let's go ahead and do the third example I've got here. And I'm going to go ahead and show you how to run a prompt in, all in four different versions of MidJourney at the same time. Again, another permutation. Forward slash imagine. I'm going to copy and paste it in. So it's French Bulldogs running in a race, kinetic photography style, as I do. Dash, dash, V space, and then bracket two, three, four, five. Basically, I'm saying, hey, show me what this looks like in version two, what it looks like in version three, version four, version five. Click enter, it will run it. It's gonna ask me again if I want to imagine this in the four different styles, and I'm gonna click on yes. I'm using up all my fast hours. So you can very quickly see here how permutations is awesome. We've already switched out different styles of lighting. As you can see here, there's four different styles of lighting coming through here. Actually, let's click on that. Let's see what we got. Okay, we got cool. This is cool. This is nice. Look at that dramatic lighting. Just awesome. Let's see what else I wanted to run and show you here. Uh, also for stylized and chaos, I'll show you an example here of that. I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste this in. So I'm going to go forward slash imagine. And now we're going to run a, oops, a permutation, French Bulldogs running in a race, et cetera, et cetera. Kinetic photography style, dash dash stylize. So we're putting in the stylize option. But now in the brackets, I got 0, 25, 50, and 100. I'm going to click enter. Do you want to run these four prompts? Imagine, yes, I sure as heck do. And bang, this is how we can do, we can do this to chaos. We can do this to pretty much anything you can think of. If you want to go uh, forward slash imagine bulldog reading a book, and then I put in a brace here. Oops, wrong brace. Um, I don't know, uh, yellow book, yellow comma blue. All right. Um, apple, so I'd be reading a book, bulldog reading a book, and then I've got the uh, brace or bracket yellow, comma blue so it's going to run either a yellow or a blue apple and i hit enter on that and this is another example of you can just go ahead and mix up different art styles different everything anyways i'm going to let all of this run i'm going to come back when it's all cooked up oh look at that that's so cool and uh, then i'll show you the results all right everybody welcome back so we've run all of this stuff here and let's just take a quick look we'll go very quickly through this and again we ran different aspect ratios different lighting styles different versions different chaos different stylized parameters and we even did some very simple uh, abstract 
different types of art style. So we'll go quickly through it. The first one here was the kinetic photography style uh, aspect ratio. So we have four different aspect ratios that it ran. So it ran a series of four at 916, as you can see here. It ran a series of four at 16.9, as you can see here. And then it ran another four at 3.2. And then it ran another four at 2.3. The next one here we ran was the art was the lighting styles. We got natural, artificial, dramatic, and foggy. Let's scroll down and see what we got. So the first one here, it ran it at artificial, and then it ran it at natural lighting, and then it ran it with dramatic lighting, which looks really, really cool. Holy smokes, how good is that? And then it even ran it with foggy lighting. So we got some bulldogs running in the fog. Oh, look how good at that. Look at those two potatoes just going for it. Love it. Now, we ran different photography styles, and then we ran version styles. Okay, so that's the one we ran. So we ran version 2. These are really, really old version 2 versions, and we ran it in version 4. Sometimes it runs it out of order. Version 4 looks pretty damn good, not going to lie. Version 3, not so good. Version 5 should be next, and it is. And these are brilliant, absolutely brilliant images. Abs just crazy good. So there you go, guys, and that's how you do it. That's how you can check it. And that's all there is to it, to running permutations in mid-journey. If you have any issues or if you can't do it or something messes up, message me. I'll do my best to help you in real time. Thanks for watching.